Welcome back to Geospatial Intelligence Innovations, the podcast where we dive into the cutting-edge technologies, trends and applications transforming the world of geospatial data and intelligence. I'm your host, Aybars Öztuna, and I'm excited to be here with you for episode 6. In our previous episodes, we have covered how geospatial intelligence is changing the game in industries like national security, sustainability, and defense. But today we are focusing on one of the most urgent and life-saving applications of geospatial intelligence, which is disaster response. Whether it's hurricanes, earthquakes, wildfires, or floods, natural disasters strike without warning and often leave communities devastated in their wake. But thanks to geospatial technologies, responding to these emergencies has become faster, more efficient, and more precise than ever before. In this episode, we are going to explore how geospatial intelligence is playing a pivotal role in disaster preparedness, real-time response, and recovery efforts. So let's jump right in and explore how geospatial intelligence is helping save lives during some of the world's most devastating disasters. The first step in disaster response is, of course, preparation. While we cannot predict exactly when or where a disaster will strike, we can use geospatial intelligence to better understand vulnerable areas and make informed decisions about where to focus resources. Geospatial intelligence in disaster preparedness is all about mapping risk and assessing vulnerability. For example, satellite imagery and remote sensing technologies can identify areas that are at a high risk of natural disasters like flooding, wildfires, or earthquakes. These insights allow governments and disaster management organizations to develop targeted disaster response plans and allocate resources more effectively. Let's take flood risk as an example. Using historical data and satellite imagery, authorities can create flood risk maps that show which regions are most likely to experience flooding. These maps can help inform urban planning and infrastructure development, ensuring that buildings and critical infrastructure are placed in flood safe zones. By identifying these high risk areas in advance, local governments can build flood defenses, develop early warning systems, and prepare evacuation plans well before a flood ever occurs. Similarly, geospatial intelligence is used to monitor environmental factors that could lead to disasters like droughts or wildfires. Remote sensing technologies can detect changes in vegetation, soil moisture levels, and temperature, all of which are critical indicators of wildfire risk. Armed with this information, fire departments and emergency services can deploy resources more strategically and even carry out controlled burns to reduce wildfire fuel loads in at-risk areas. The key takeaway here is that geospatial intelligence doesn't just help in the immediate aftermath of a disaster, it also allows us to prepare ahead of time, reducing risks and potentially saving thousands of lives by mitigating the impact of these disasters. When a disaster does strike, time is of the essence. The faster responders can assess the situation, deploy resources, and reach affected areas. The more lives can be saved, and this is where geospatial intelligence really shines. After a disaster occurs, the first thing responders need is real-time information about the extent of the damage. Satellite imagery, drones, and other geospatial data sources allow emergency response teams to assess the situation quickly and accurately. For example, after a major earthquake, satellite imagery can show which buildings have collapsed, 
which roads are blocked and where people are most likely to need immediate help. One of the best examples of this is the use of satellite-based damage assessments after natural disasters. After the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, for instance, satellite imagery was used to map out damaged areas, identify collapsed buildings, and prioritize areas for rescue operations. This geospatial data was shared in real time with relief agencies allowing them to mobilize resources and send help to the hardest hit areas quickly. Similarly, drones have become invaluable tools for real-time disaster response. Equipped with high-definition cameras and infrared sensors, drones can fly over disaster zones, providing live imagery of affected areas. These drones can be deployed to survey flooded neighborhoods, assess fire damage, or search for survivors in collapsed buildings. Their ability to fly low and get a bird's eye view of disaster zones helps first responders make faster, more informed decisions. In addition to identifying damage, Geospatial intelligence is used to track evolving hazards during a disaster. For example, in the case of wildfires or hurricanes, geospatial data can track the movement of the fire or storm, helping emergency services plan evacuations, establish safe zones, and allocate resources to areas of greatest need. When lives are on the line, having accurate and up-to-date geospatial intelligence can make a life-saving difference. It provides critical insights that allow emergency teams to act faster, more efficiently, and with greater precision. Once the immediate response phase has passed, the focus shifts to recovery and rebuilding efforts. Geospatial intelligence continues to play a vital role in this space, helping governments and relief agencies identify the most effective ways to rebuild and restore communities. One of the most powerful tools for recovery is geographic information systems, which is GIS. GIS technology integrates geospatial data with mapping and analytical tools to provide a comprehensive view of disaster-affected areas. It helps agencies assess the full extent of the damage, prioritize reconstruction efforts, and allocate resources where they are needed most. For instance, GIS can be used to create detailed damage maps showing the condition of infrastructure like roads, bridges, schools, and hospitals. This data is essential for rebuilding efforts as it helps agencies understand which areas need the most attention and which resources should be prioritized. It also allows planners to identify safe routes for transportation and deliver essential supplies to affected communities. GIS also aids in tracking displaced populations. After a disaster, many people are forced to evacuate their homes and seek shelter in temporary facilities like refugee camps or emergency shelters. By using GIS, authorities can track the movement of displaced populations, ensuring that aid reaches those in need. GIS also helps plan the relocation of families and individuals to safer areas and can assist in managing the flow of refugees from disaster zones to recovery areas. Additionally, GIS can be used to monitor environmental recovery. After a disaster, the environment can be severely impacted, whether it's through contamination destruction of ecosystems, or loss of wildlife. GIS helps track the restoration of natural habitats, monitor water quality, and assess the recovery of agricultural lands. This is crucial for rebuilding not just built environments, 
but the ecological systems that support human life and well-being. Now, let's take a closer look at how geospatial intelligence has been used in recent disaster response efforts. These real-world examples show just how powerful GeoInt can be when it comes to saving lives and supporting recovery. One of the most notable cases is the response to Hurricane Katrina in 2005. In the aftermath of the storm, geospatial intelligence was instrumental in assessing the damage and directing relief efforts. Satellite imagery and GIS helped to map out flooded areas, identify damaged infrastructure, and pinpoint where rescue teams needed to focus their efforts. The use of geospatial data in this response ultimately helped save lives and provided a foundation for rebuilding New Orleans and surrounding areas. Another example is the 2017 Mexico City earthquake. After the quake, satellite imagery and drones were used to assess building damage and identify which areas needed immediate assistance. Using this data, rescue teams were able to search for survivors in the most affected areas and organize resources more effectively. More recently, during the 2020 Australian wildfires, geospatial intelligence was used to monitor the spread of the fires assess damage and prioritize evacuation routes, satellite data and drones helped responders track fire fronts in real time, while GIS helped map out areas for controlled burns and safe evacuation zones. This information saved lives by allowing authorities to make real-time decisions and keep people out of harm's way. In each of these cases, geospatial intelligence played a critical role in coordinating disaster response, delivering aid, and ensuring that recovery efforts were as efficient and effective as possible. As we look to the future, the role of geospatial intelligence in disaster response will only continue to grow. With advancements in satellite technology, AI, and real-time data sharing, we are moving towards a future where disasters can be predicted, monitored, and responded to even more swiftly and effectively. One of the most exciting developments in geospatial intelligence is the use of real-time data, which is the data streaming from satellites and drones. This allows emergency responders to receive live updates on disaster conditions helping them make faster decisions. In the future, we can expect even more sophisticated AI algorithms that will automatically analyze geospatial data and identify potential hazards or areas in need of assistance, further speeding up response times. Additionally, the use of crowdsourced geospatial data is expected to increase. In the aftermath of disasters, many people are now using their smartphones to share geospatial data, like photos, videos, and GPS coordinates, which is then integrated into disaster response efforts. This data can provide additional insights, especially in areas where official surveys might be delayed or hard to access. Finally, we are also seeing a shift towards smarter disaster recovery systems. By integrating geospatial intelligence with other technologies like the Internet of Things, IoT sensors, and big data, recovery efforts will be even more efficient. These integrated systems will provide a more holistic view of the disaster and improve the allocation of resources from temporary shelters to long-term reconstruction efforts. That's all for today's episode of Geospatial Intelligence Innovations. We have explored how geospatial intelligence is playing a crucial role in disaster preparedness, response, and recovery. 
from mapping flood risks and tracking wildfires to assessing damage and supporting recovery, Geoint is saving lives and helping communities rebuild in the face of disaster. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out our next episode where we will explore the growing role of geospatial intelligence in urban planning and smart cities. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe, and keep exploring the world of geospatial intelligence.